Kira and welcome to another video. Now, when it came to choosing an outfit and a mug for filming this video, it dawned on me that my wardrobe and mug collection are distinctly lacking in anything spooky, autumnal, Halloween-y, and just all around, you know, like witchy vibes. I don't have any of them. So that is something that needs to change pronto. But you might be thinking, Kira, it's August, <laughs> why do you need anything with spooky vibes? Well, first of all, it's never too early to prepare for spooky season, but second of all, spooky season, I'm very happy to tell you, is coming early this year, and that is what this video is all about. Specifically, spooky season is coming early in the form of a read-along of a massive book that I've been wanting to read for a long time, that my friend Mary has been wanting to read for a long time, and that I'm sure a lot of you guys have also been wanting to read, but probably, like me, are a little bit daunted by the sheer size and just terrifying nature of the book. So, obviously the title has kind of given this away, but the book that I'm referring to is The Famous It by Stephen King. Dun dun dun! I won't lie, I did consider wearing my yellow raincoat for this video, but then I kind of thought I need a red balloon and I don't really have any red balloons on hand, so I just went with a jumper instead, but I'm sure you can appreciate the vibe that I was going for. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware, I am a big fan of Stephen King. He is virtually the only horror author that I've ever read, but I do really enjoy his books and I actually do a Stephen King 24 hour readathon every October around Halloween time because it's just so much fun to read as many of his books as I can in one day and just to really get into the spooky spirit. Now I have considered reading it for one of those readathons previously, but I've kind of put myself off of it because quite frankly, I would be committing my to reading this book and this book only, and with those readathons, I like to try and read as many of his books as possible. But with that said, I do really, really, really want to read it, and so Mary and I have gotten together and decided that now is the time. 2021 is the year to read it, and we hope that you'll be joining us. Now, of course, it and Stephen King in general are very october -y in their vibes, and so it might seem a little bit odd that we're announcing this towards the end of August, but my copy of it has just under 1,100 pages, and although that varies a little bit between, you know, whichever edition you have, generally speaking, it is over 1,000 pages long and quite a beast. So we wanted this read-along to be as accessible to as many people as possible and for as many people who want to take part to be able to take part, and so we decided that we would do this readathon across the months of September and October, just to give everyone plenty of time to read and hopefully enjoy this book. And so we're announcing now, right at the end of August, because our Stephen King It Read Along is going to be starting on the 1st of September. Perfect way to just like dive headfirst into all things autumn and spooky season, in my opinion. Now, like I said, this read-along is in collaboration with my wonderful friend Mary. Her channel is Mary Among Stories, and it will, of course, be linked down below. You can go and check out her announcement video as well, but we just cannot wait to do this. We did a buddy read together of Middle March earlier this year. Very different vibe to it, but it was so much fun to tackle a massive book together and with a community of you guys as well, and so we're hoping that you'll all enjoy reading it alongside us just as much as the ones of you who enjoyed reading Middle March with us did. That was a really lengthy sentence and probably made no sense, but essentially all to say I'm very very excited to be reading this one with my friend Mary and with as many of you guys as possible too. Now in terms of the schedule, I personally know that I don't necessarily like reading to a super strict schedule, it just doesn't necessarily lend itself to very productive reading for me, I end up falling behind and then feel like I've failed and all of that dramatic stuff. So we've basically just given ourselves the two months of September and most of October up until right near the end of the month to just read this book at our own pace. But we do want to make sure that we all stay in touch and share our thoughts as we go. So as always with a read along, we have a Discord channel set up, which I will link down below. For anyone that hasn't used Discord before, it is essentially just like a server where you can chat to people about specific things. So in this case, we've set up a IT read along Discord server and we've got sections in there for each of the different parts of the book 
book. The book is split into five huge sections, so you can find a section for each of the chapters in there and places to talk about things with spoilers, without spoilers, to leave live show questions, and basically just to chat all about it, essentially, because I'm sure, being as big as it is, there's going to be a lot to talk about. So the Discord will be the main place that we can all stay in touch and chat about it as we go along through the read along, but we are also going to be hosting some live reading sprints as well. The first reading sprint will be on my channel and that will be on the 12th of September and essentially we'll just get together, read a few chapters of the book, talk about our thoughts, you can ask Mary and I questions and we'll just basically catch up about where we're at in the book by that point. And then the second live reading sprint will be on Mary's channel on the 10th of October and same thing goes there, we'll catch up, see how everyone's getting along with the book, do a bit of reading together and just have a Stephen King chat. And then finally at the very end of the read along there will of course be a big bonanza live show where we will talk about our concluding thoughts, our full experience with the book, possibly our thoughts on the movies because I know I'm definitely going to be watching both versions of the It movies again and comparing and seeing how my experience of them changes after having read the book and it'll just be a full on It Fest. It fest. That doesn't really sound very exciting, but it will be. It's going to be very fun, very scary, very spooky, and that live show, like I said, will be at the end of the read-along on my channel on the 24th of October. Now, all of these dates will be in the description box of this video if you want to note them down, but also they will be on the Discord where you can find a section with all of the dates and event times so that you don't need to worry about remembering it all, and we will also post in that Discord chat before each of the live events so that you remember and are able to join us if you can. Now I won't lie, the size and nature of this novel are filling me with a little bit of dread and terror, but also I'm mostly just excited for this experience and I feel like if I'm going to take on a book as big as this, I might as well do it with a big group of friends and have fun chatting about our thoughts on the book. So I think that is everything that you need to know about the IT read-along that Mary and I are hosting. As I mentioned, all of the details are in the description box as well as a link to Mary's channel. So, spooky season is here guys, I'm very excited about it and I hope you are too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.